This question here, we have two carts. It looks like they're going to collide. So this immediately tells us this is probably a momentum question. We want to set up our coordinate system. We'll define this direction as positive and this direction as negative. <clears throat> but we see right off, given the notation, given the notation that the um, momentum is, in this case, minus mv for the m cart. And we see that it's 2mv for the other cart. So we can see overall, the overall momentum is to the right. This, the momentum system is positive. So now we read the question, 2m and m approach each other head on. They hook together. So this is a sticky collision, inelastic, kinetic energy is not conserved. Positive momentum is to the right. Good. So they've given us that. Which represents the momentum of the car M as a function of time before and after the collision. So immediately what we know is for this M cart, the momentum is negative from the get-go. And we do our Oizerga. The origin is here, and that's important. That means that in this first case, choice A, the momentum is positive the entire time. Well, that's false. Choice B, it's negative in the beginning. Choice C, it's negative in the beginning. And choice D, it's negative in the beginning. Next, you'll notice with these three choices, B, C, and D, there's a change that goes on, that occurs. There's a change that afterward, the, mo the momentum is negative, remains negative, and in C, it becomes positive and positive. So we've, we can next ask, does the momentum afterward, is it positive or negative after they stick together? Now, what we said is we know that the law of conservation of momentum says the mo initial momentum equals the total momentum at every moment in time. And beforehand, the momen momentum is positive. So that means after they stick together, the thing must be moving in the positive direction. So that tells us that after the collision, the M cart must be moving to the right in the positive direction and therefore will have positive momentum. So choice B is out. Choice C and D comes down to which one has a uh, greater momentum or which, which one has a greater velocity. If we look at choice C, what C is telling us is that the speed is, is less in C and D is telling us the speed is the same. Now, we might try and intuit this one way or the other, but let's solve it. P0 equals P, and we have the momentum before, which is 2mv minus mv, and afterward, we have the two stuck together, um, and we have the new velocity. So the velocity afterward is mv over 3m. M's cancel, and we are left with a new velocity being one-third the original velocity. So we can see it's less. Now, from this, we, it is reasonable for us to inter intuit that the velocity will be less afterwards since they happen to have the same speed in the beginning. Since they had the same speed, <clears throat> the speed is going to be less. But in any case, we can demonstrate it as being less than or one-third.